everyone it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel today I want to show you a mixed media piece that I did I started it a while back I'm going to tell you a quick little funny story me and a friend of mine Terry Lee you may know her from Sweet Pea Papers on YouTube that's her channel and her Facebook group as well Sweet Pea Papers and her and I decided we were going to team up one evening and see if we could do a live video. This is the project I wanted to do. Well, I live very much in the middle of nowhere. Don't have the best internet service. But I signed up for one of the streaming um, platforms. And what I didn't realize is that you don't need to do it wirelessly. I figured that out now. So I'm on my laptop, and she lives in a pretty populated area, so she didn't really have any problem. Well, I kept dropping. Service kept dropping. It was horrible. I had a couple friends come in. One was on Facebook trying to watch us, and the other one was on YouTube trying to watch us. Needless to say, it was one big cluster, and we laugh about it now, and I don't know. It, it, it just was weird to me. So now I do know that if I hardwire my laptop and go through the streaming service, I stand a better chance of um, doing a live video. So anyhow, maybe down the road I'm going to give it another try. But in the meantime, I have finally finished my mixed media piece. Now, what's so special about this piece, you say, well... It looks like it's on a piece of wood. Well, it's not. It is actually on, hold on, let me get it, pieces of vinyl flooring. And this one happened to come with a bunch of them um, with these kind of screw things through them. And it was, um, you know, so it would show a bunch of assorted colors. So this is actually vinyl flooring. Also, now, if you know anything about me, you know I used to work for a general contractor, and our design team there, you know, they picked out all kinds of products, um, you know, wood samples for molding, for furniture for that matter, vinyl flooring, um, what else did they have? There was just so much now I can't think of anything. Fabric samples, just all kinds of stuff. So when I went to work there, I noticed that they just threw it away. So I said, would it be a problem if instead of you throwing it away, I took it? I was thinking the landfill, it's already a giant mess, and we're just throwing more stuff in there like that. Let's see if we can do something with it. So I've taken cabinet door samples and turned them into chalkboard trays and message boards and all kinds of stuff. That's probably the biggest things. And I've sold every one of them. And vinyl flooring, when I get pieces like this, nobody's really going to want it much. So I had to come up with an idea that I could do. Um, the bigger planks of vinyl flooring or even the wood flooring, you know, you can take that places. People might want to do it. I've gotten enough before that people could do a small room. Um, otherwise, you can take it to... You know, someplace like Habitat for Humanity. You know, somebody might be looking for just one more piece of something. And there, they don't have to buy another hope when they can go there and get the one piece. But anyway, let's get to this. Um, of course, as you can see, I just painted it beige, first of all. And then I trimmed it in like this teal kind of color, blue teal. And then from there, this was a dye um, that I had. It kind of reminds me of um, uh, drywall kind of tape in the seams. And then this was a Tim Holtz die. This was just a chipboard die that I had. And then this is a Tim Holtz stamp that I stamped with embossing powder to make it glossy. And then fussy cutted it and put it on a pop dot so it really does. Let's see if we can show it. It really does pop out. And then just a bottle cap and some lace. And then I rusted up um, the paper clips with this rusty paste that I have. And then just a few um, pieces of ephemera and an old, that's actually a stamp. And, uh, you know, and then stamped it and 
and just did some doodads on it. So I just wanted to pop in with a short little video today and tell you, you know, when you get something, consider it. You know, it took me a little while to come up with ideas for vinyl flooring. I've also taken vinyl flooring and made journal covers out of it. It looks like wood. Um, you know, so there's things that you can do with it is my point. Um, they may not come to you right away. When I was doing those message boards and um, I had already figured the chalkboard trays with the cabinet doors. But when you get a whole sample and it's the door and the drawer front and it's on a frame, it, it took me probably a good six months staring at those pieces and say, what can I do? And I had never seen anything like that anywhere before. Not on Pinterest, not on Etsy, nowhere. So I had an original idea and yeah, it was a little time consuming, but I sold all of them for a very fair price for me and for the buyer. Um, so, you know, they've got one of a kind pieces. So, Again, back to think about if somebody gives you something, don't say, oh, well, that's ugly. You know, you might be able to change the color of it or, you know, kind of use it as a background something, depending on what you get. So I'm going to ask you to come back and check me out every Tuesday evening. I do my best to put up a video. Um, I'm also, I have a Facebook group. I have a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Um, you can find me on Pinterest. You can see what I'm looking at. And I do have a small Etsy shop. So please um, come on back and tell your friends. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, my videos are usually not very long and I try to make them original. Um, anyhow, that's me. So I'm going to ask you all to behave and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.